Well, he's gone without a trace. Convicted thief and accused uh, killer Richard Merritt seems to have vanished into thin air the day he was set to turn himself into prison. But the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force has theories about where he might be hiding if he's still alive. Our senior IT team reporter Dale Russell tracked Merritt's crimes as a lawyer and his life as a fugitive on the run and joins us now with the details. Dale? Russ, they are really surprised that this has gone on as long as it has already. One moment, disbarred attorney Richard Merritt was set to do the time for his conviction for stealing his client's settlement checks. But then he allegedly murdered his own mother, who was going to drive him to prison and fled. But to where? And is anyone helping him? The last sighting that we know was him was the night he vanished. And just like that, he was gone. Richard Merritt, convicted thief and accused killer, walked out of this gas station and vanished. Despite a worldwide manhunt, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force doesn't have any solid leads on where he is or even if he's alive. Are you surprised he hadn't shown up yet? I am surprised that he has evaded capture for so long. We would think that he would slip up or make a mistake. For two years, the Fox 5 I team investigated how more than a dozen victims said well-known Cobb County attorney Richard Merritt stole their settlement checks after handling their personal injury lawsuits. A sentence of 30 years to serve 15 years. In January, a Cobb County judge sentenced Merritt to 15 years in prison for stealing more than $450,000 from 17 different clients. But Merritt was given two weeks to get his affairs in order. There was a pot here of homemade spaghetti sauce. Which the day he was supposed to turn himself in, Merritt's brother Robert says their mother cooked him his last family meal. Then with plates still on the table and pots on the stove, she was brutally murdered, bludgeoned and stabbed to death. I would be wary of him if I saw him just to, just to give him a wide berth. I would just call 911. Frank Limka is an inspector with the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force. He says despite more than 50 possible sightings of Merritt, nothing has panned out. Even the Lexus Merritt is suspected of stealing when he ran seems to have vanished. The strange thing is that the car hasn't turned up yet, and he could have switched the license plate on the car. Limka says the task force has put together a profile of the 5 foot 10 inch disbarred lawyer with a colorful tattoo on his right bicep. Agents believe Merritt may revisit places he's lived or visited. Saudi Arabia, Oxford, England, Mexico, Mississippi, the Caribbean. We know that he likes to go to the beaches and live like a boating or fishing lifestyle. So he could be doing that either in the United States or down in the Caribbean or Mexico. In an earlier interview with the I-Team, Merritt's ex-wife Janine and his brother Robert added their own thoughts on where he may be found. Where would he hang out? Bars. Irish bars. He's always liked Irish pubs. I think he's always liked a good, good, good conversation, a good drink. Limka believes Merritt may have someone helping him, but they don't know for sure. There is much they don't know, but they do know one thing. We will catch Merritt. We're going to track him down and catch him no matter where he is in the, in the world. Now, Inspector Frank Limka says there is a $5,000 reward for any information leading to the capture of Richard Merritt. You can call the Marshal's office anonymously if you wish. Russ Sine. Well, he had time to plan this, didn't he? He did. He had a lot of time because, remember, he was arrested long before the trial or before he settled the case. So he had all that time, and then he was given a couple more weeks after he was convicted. So, yeah, he had plenty of time to do a lot of planning. And to be clear, he was last seen in his mom's vehicle, and that vehicle hasn't been found yet. Well, he actually, actually he was last seen walking out of that uh, grocery store in Bartow County. Mm -hmm. right. They didn't see him. If I recall, there, there was no sight, sighting of the vehicle in that, that. Now, someone may have told him that he was driving, and that I don't know. But, um, but they believe he has his mother's vehicle. Mm. All, right. All right. We'll see what happens. Dale, thanks questions. very much.